Good morning, Year Six. So today's mixed math starter. We're looking at. We're going to look at the four operations with addition, subtract, and multiplication, and division. And you can notice there is a decimal point in all of these. And I've been very nice. I've actually lined up the decimal point for you here. And you'll need to do the same with your multiplication and your division as well. So you pause the video there. Have a go at these. Remembering that golden rule of decimals to line the decimal point up one on top of each other and then unpause the video and then see if you got the answers correct. Okay, so number one, I've already lined up the decimal point. Now your answer will also have a decimal point in exactly the same place, one on top of another stacked up like a tower. It's not going to be here or here or here, it's going to be there. Can you see how they are lined up? Because we are adding here this is the hundredths, isn't it? We'll be adding these hundredths together, then we'll be adding the tenths, and then we'll go into the ones column, the tens, and finally the hundredths. We need to make sure that we are adding up the correct column when we uh, are doing this, the correct column in the, our place value chart. So first of all, we're adding seven hundredths, add one hundredth. Seven add one is eight, and then we're adding nine add one, nine tenths and one tenth takes us to 10, doesn't it? So we write the zero here, and the one gets carried over, doesn't it? It's gone into the ones column. Eight add two add one is 11. Nine add one add one is 11 as well. One there, one gets carried over. Then three add one is four. And you can see that I've already put the decimal point in. So the answer is 411.08. But if you don't put that in, look how wrong your answer is. Your answer is 41,108 really really long way off where it should be so it's really crucial that you remember to do that moving on to number two 32.17 times by three so 32.17 is getting three times bigger so first of all we multiply this seven that is in the hundreds column then we multiply this one that's in the tens column we'll multiply them by three then we move on to the ones then we move on to the tens seven times by 3 is 21, so the 1 goes here and the 2 goes over into the tenths column. 1 times 3 is 3, and remember to add this 2 on is 5. 3 times 2 is 6, 3 times 3 is 9. Now remember exactly where the decimal point needs to go. If you put it here, the answer goes to 965.1, far too big. If I was to put it here, 9.651 far too small. Remember multiplying the answer will be getting getting bigger. So that's where it needs to go, right up on top. And it looks like a sensible answer, doesn't it? An answer that is very close to 30 times by 3. 30 times by 3 is 90. It's just larger than it, so it looks like a sensible answer. 96.51. So if we look at number 3, here we've got a subtraction, haven't we? Line them all up again. The decimal point lined up here. This is where it's going to be, isn't it, here? We've got three numbers after the decimal point, so we're going to have three numbers after the decimal point in our answer as well. So just like a normal subtraction then at this point. So we have eight take away nine, we can't do that, so we need to exchange. So that one becomes zero, this becomes 18. 18 take away nine is nine. Zero take away one we can't do, so that seven becomes six. And this comes over here, 10 take away one, is nine, six take away three is three. I've already put my best decimal point in. Eight take away seven is one. One take away one is zero. Seven, and there's nothing here, so seven take away nothing is seven. 701.399. You can see it looks like a sensible answer, doesn't it? If you approximate 718 take away 17 will be 701, and then and um, you can see exactly what this is here. So 701.399. And finally, we've got a division. Again, golden rule of decimals. The decimal point is going to be here, isn't it? So 49.84 is going to be split evenly seven times. How many times does seven go into four? It doesn't. So four gets carried over. How many times does seven go into 49? It goes in seven times. There's nothing left over. So we just move on. How many times does seven go into eight? It goes in once and there's one left over. How many times does 7 go into 14? It goes in twice. So then we can see our answer is 7.12.
hopefully uh, you got all those right. Year six, which is really important. Remembering with decimals, that golden rule of decimals, lining them all up. And you can see we have, and that's why we've got four correct answers.